Uh huh. The sliding is pretty crazy. Hi, Golly Squad. Welcome back to 70 Pounds of Life. My name is Marissa Dawn, and today is Friday, so we're doing a five minute Friday video, unedited and uncut. So let's hope we get through this shall we? Uh, before we get started, make sure that you guys comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't. It really supports me and everything that I'm trying to accomplish. In this video, make sure that you comment and let me know what you guys want me to talk about next Friday. I choose a topic based out of the comments, and I talk about that topic the following week. So last week, Brittany Dutton commented, and she said that she wanted me to talk about binging and how to get back on track after a binge. And if you guys know me, you know that I have struggled with binging and I still currently do. Um, I went a good five months without binging and just two weeks ago I had another binge which I'll put that video somewhere for you guys as well. Go and check that out. Um, so I feel like I have gotten better and I'm just going to share some tools that I use for myself and maybe it will help you guys out. Who knows? Okay. So let me start our timer. See guys, I never have it ready to go. These, vid these videos are always longer than five minutes. Did anybody watch the McGregor fight? Comment down below and let me know. I just, that was insane. Okay, back on topic. The timer is set. So the first thing that I wrote down because I write notes down because I get off topic very easily. I wrote down, don't beat yourself up. So I want you guys to recognize that there is a difference between feeling guilty or ashamed or regretting having a binge. Like those are all valid emotions to have, um, but there's a difference between feeling those things and then really festering on that and letting it consume you. So recognize those feelings, they're valid, but then move on. Uh, the second thing that I have written down is to reflect. And this kind of goes in hand with the first topic, which is don't beat yourself up. So try and reflect, like were you hungry? Did you not eat all day? Uh, were you sad for some reason? Did you have a negative encounter with somebody earlier that day? Uh, were you stressed? Were you happy? There's a bunch of different reasons why we binge. So reflect, if you have a journal, I use a journal, write down why you binged. And if you're like, Marissa, well, I don't know why I binged, then do this. Every time that you binge, write it down in a journal or the notes in your phone or anywhere, I don't care. Just write it down and then basically give a timeline of what happened earlier that day and then go about your life. And then when you binge again, write down what happened earlier that day and see if you can find a pattern. So once you identify what that reason is for your binging, then try and come up with a solution. So for example, on my last binge, um, I'm now currently in one place. Before I was traveling and living in hotels, so I didn't really have food at my disposal, like a refrigerator right next to me. So I had all these tools that I thought, man, this is working really great for me, like I haven't been binging, but then I put myself in a situation where I'm in one place, I'm feeling super stressed, and there's a refrigerator within arm's reach. I wasn't planned for that. So with each binge that you have, you're going to learn something new. And so take what you've learned and try and come up with precautions or a solution to keep that incident from happening again. So come up with a plan is basically what I'm trying to say. I hope that makes sense. Um, the next thing that I have written down is get right back on schedule slash track. So a lot of us after we binge, we're like, oh, well, I don't, I don't want to eat. I just had a really bad binge. That is the worst thing that you can do. So after you binge, let's say you binge in the evening, drink a big glass of water. And I know you also don't want to drink water after you binge because you're pretty full, but it's going to help. Drink a glass of water, get a good night's sleep. The next morning, instead of skipping breakfast and lunch, don't skip meals, guys, because what's going to happen is if you skip a meal, you're going to feel hungry and then you're already in like a mindset where you binge just a few hours previously so feeling hungry and also being in that mindset it's basically a perfect storm for another binge so don't skip out on your meals have a healthy breakfast have a healthy lunch like just get right back onto it and another thing that i want to just throw out there is so people binge for different reasons. They're stressed, they're sad, they're happy. There's so many different reasons. I just want you guys to think about this and sit with it for a second. Just because these emotions are present and 
they're in your head or you're feeling some type of way doesn't mean that you have to act on them. Imagine yourself being the center of a tornado. There's bullshit flying around like there's the emotion of feeling stressed out or a negative interaction that you had with somebody or maybe you messed up at work like I don't know what it is like all of those things are flying around your tornado you don't have to act on it you can just recognize it like oh there goes that sadness oh there goes that stress like recognize it I guess just realize that those are emotions that you're having, but realize that you don't have to act on them. You're in control. Um, the next thing that I wrote was, oh, this is another thing that personally helps with me. After I binge, and this is a part of getting right back on track, um, after I binge, I brush my teeth and I tell myself, okay, we're starting fresh. I literally say it out, out loud, and sometimes I look in the mirror and I say it. Brush my teeth, okay, Marissa, we're starting fresh. Your binge doesn't define you. Binges happen. We have to figure out why they're happening, and then we have to come up with a solution to try and keep them from happening again. Uh, the last thing that I wrote down was to get out. So whether binges usually happen in private, right? So if you've binged, immediately try and change your surroundings. Like go outside, go for a walk, go get some exercise. Okay, the timer's up, but I'm gonna keep talking for a few more seconds. Uh, get outside, change your scenery. Exercising really does release a bunch of great, amazing things with big, fancy words in your body. Uh, so go for a walk, go hang out with your friends, call somebody, just get away from that surrounding where you just binged, okay? Because you want to try and like just, just change your scenery, guys. I'm having a hard time with words today. Um, that's all that I really had to talk about. I could talk about this topic for much longer. If you guys want a full video on this, let me know, but I feel like I covered a lot of ground. If you have any questions, comment down below. I am usually really good about answering comments and responding to you guys, and I really love it when you guys comment because I like having an interaction because sometimes I feel like being a YouTuber is very one-sided, like it's me talking to you, so I like having that communication where you guys are responding back to me okay that's it please like comment and subscribe go and follow me on instagram if you haven't i just posted a pretty big announcement that i'm actually really proud of like really proud of so go and check out my instagram it's 70 pounds of life i hope you guys are all doing well and i will talk to you guys with my next vlog i know i didn't post a vlog last week i'm sorry i had some stuff going on which instagram will explain it if you go and look at that post. Okay guys, hope you're all doing well. Remember, as always, you hold the power in your hands to make any changes in your life that you want to make, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye guys. But for real, did you watch that McGregor fight? That fight was crazy.